the basics of jazz drum set for music educators. Today, we're talking about how important it is to protect your hearing while you play the drums. With me here today is my handy dandy decibel meter, something that you can find by Googling or going to the app store for free in most cases. This thing just clocked me playing at almost 100 decibels. And from my point of view, I was playing at a moderate but not very loud volume, playing like I normally would in a jazz setting with a combo or maybe a big band. That was absolutely not as loud as I could play. I was not working very hard and yet still almost 100 decibels. For context, 100 decibels is a volume level at which we can damage our hearing after about 15 minutes of sound exposure. Now I want you to think for a second, hmm, do I have exposure to 15 minutes or more of moderate drum set noise every day? Yeah, I might, especially if I play the drum set, or I'm teaching someone who plays the drum set in one of my classes. There's no reason we need to have another generation of musicians grow up and have tinnitus before they've even hit puberty. I know that's what happened to me, and it wasn't for lack of trying on my instructors and my parents' part. So today I'm going to talk about different kinds of hearing protection that we can use. It's important to have options because lots of kids will have sensory sensitivities, not only to the noise, but also to sticking things in their ears or having things on top of their ears. And also we make different earplugs for different situations. Those crappy little orange foam ones that everyone hates, they're not made for music. So they're uncomfortable to wear. And on top of that, they do reduce the sound, but they make it impossible for us to listen and interact properly in a musical way with our friends. So here are a few different options to consider when you're looking at earplugs. First, we have something like this. I call these the jackhammer headphone because that's what they're modeled after. Again, loud drum set, jackhammer, same decibel level, crazy. A lot of companies make these now more in a musically inclined direction. These ones are actually Vic Firth, which is a drum company. Uh, I believe they're about 20 bucks, but I've had them for a long time, so they might be more. I've even seen versions of these now with a cable coming out of it so you can listen to a track in your headphones but still protect your ears from the world at large. I like these for young students, little kids who have tiny little ear canals and who don't want to put something in their ears. Um, older students who are neurodiverse and just kind of averse to sound and a lot of sensory input in general. And I like them for the practice room because they block out just about everything <laughs> that comes out of everything. They're not a great rehearsal headphone to me because they block out too much of the surrounding material, but these are great for the practice room. Next up, I have these earplugs. Now I have had this particular set since about 2008. I'm not even sure this company is still in business anymore, but they are called Docs Pro Plugs. This is an in the ear, earplug and they're tiny, they're clear, very low key if you're worried about looking cool or your students are. Um, I believe these were marketed towards swimmers, but what I really like about them is that they come in different sizes. If you can find their website anymore, it, at least it used to be that you could order a little size guide, hold it up to your ears and decide on the size that's right for you. Again, great for smaller students, younger people, and then also just for that degree of customizability. I still wear those every week in any rehearsal that's acoustic. So I'm talking concert band, jazz band, or like a, you know, if people are unplugged, I will wear those because it takes the edge off and it still lets me hear what's going on, but it gives me a lot longer on the clock before I get hearing damage. The last set I want to talk about are in here. When I was a teenager, after years of not wearing my earplugs, I finally got taken to an audiologist where I was able to get a mold taken of my inner ear and get an earplug that was specially fitted to me. Now, these are expensive, but they're really nice because these are meant for filtering the sound so that you don't kill your ears, but you can still hear all of the musical nuances around you. Those are my like daily driver. If I'm practicing, I'm probably wearing those. If I am at a rehearsal where people are plugged in or a loud show, I'm probably wearing those. If I go out to see live music, those are in my pocket because I will probably use them. So if that's something that's in your, your budget or your student's budget, I would highly recommend going to the doctor and getting a special set made. While you're there, you can also test your hearing and see if you've lost any and see what you might need to do in order to prevent further damage. Now, this is an era of more and more awareness around ear protection. Just a simple Google search will show you tons of different companies who make different earplugs 
for musical and non-musical situations. A lot of folks are realizing that even if they go to a concert, they might want to wear earplugs to protect their hearing. There are loud enough sounds in this world that you can get damaged in 5 to 10, 15, 20 minutes. And so even one time at a concert can be a really bad deal. I would recommend taking a look around, doing some research. There are in-ear in earplugs, out external earplugs. There are external and internal earplugs that also function as headphones so you can hear a track. There are low-key ones, super extra ones, a little bit of protection, a lot of protection. It's a wide world out there. It's like sunscreen. But everybody should be wearing sunscreen and everybody should have their ear protection in when they're playing drums. Thank you for listening to this rant today. You know, this is very an only you can prevent forest fires. Except today, I think we're going to go with only you can prevent tinnitus. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you next Tuesday for another episode. Happy practicing.